Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RuneScape, shall we? Alright, well, I'm in a volcano. You know, always good. There are some nice creatures that appear to be rendered here in stone in decorative fashion, and then there are these Tazar Zil dudes strolling around and we are on hey true freak what's up my friend thanks for the prime sub I appreciate that we're on this quest here called Tok Tees Kettle or Talk to Z Kettle I'm not sure um, we'll find out what this is all about and we need to talk to this guy at the collapsed tunnel in the city. And this is the first of the Tazar quests that I've undertaken. So let's see if we can figure this out. <laughs> Thank you so much, True Freak. I appreciate that, my friend. Tales of Magile is such a great game. I'll be booting that one up again someday soon. I always like to play that game because there's so many different combinations of characters and classes that you can play that it just never gets old. Spoy, good evening. Episcacat, good evening. Hey, Sir Theodore. Good evening, good to see you. Alright, let me check. take a look here at the map. Oh, not that. Um, boy, I did Mystic Might. I didn't mean to do that. Did I always have... Did they change? I didn't. don't remember having Mystic Might. Maybe I haven't used it in a while. That's cool. Alright, let's see. Okay, I am here, and uh, this says... This is the guy right here, so I need to go over uh, to this area. Nick man, good morning. All right, let's see here. Oh, oh, okay. I've got my orientation of the map wrong. He's over here. It's hot down here. Probably shouldn't have worn the full cape. All right, let's see here. Collapsed tunnel entrance. Am I at the right place now? Dear God, no, I'm not. He's over here. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this one more time. We sure are, Sir Theodore. Oh, I am so sorry about that, Nick, man. It goes back to what we were talking about when you said you were uh, changing your hard drive and everything. I hate that with computers because just like you're describing, something invariably goes wrong for me and it takes me forever to get it fixed. And it drives me crazy and I have to spend all this time like looking for solutions on message boards, etc. I hope you get it fixed soon. You need help, Jolly Zill Doctor Incompetent? Okay. So I would like from... Well, that's not horrible. If you... But if, if it's not letting you do that, then that is horrible. Yeah, I was wondering about that. So I've, my questions are twofold. First of all, I've never been... An, um, I need a reminder if I ever did know. How do I pronounce... Tizhar. Like, what is the pronunciation of that so I can say that correctly? And then, it's just Zar. Okay. And then the other question is, why did this guy give me a title? Did I do some kind of quests for them, or is that just a, out of respect? He's just calling me that. Hey, Tristram, good evening, or good morning, my friend. How's it going? 
I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I hope you're well. It's Tsar. Okay. All right. So it's Tsar. So he's saying human, zil, doctor incompetent. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, I can actually ask him about it. That's cool. What did you call me? Are you not Jolly Zil? Uh, what's a Jolly Zil? The what you are, you agile and quick, no? Well, yes, uh, I've been called agile and quick across the land. Then you Jolly Zil. Uh, what are you then? Not so, Jolly. I am Zar Hur, one of the crafters of the city. There are also the wise Zar Mage who guide us, the mighty Zar Ket who guard us, and the swift Zar Zil who hunt for our food. Ah, so he's calling me like a hunter. Tristram, I love the. I love that sentiment. That's awesome. I try to do that myself. Worrying never does me any good. All right, well, let's talk to him again. You need help. What happened here? I'll tell you what happened. Big creature dug tunnels under Zar City and Zarzil Tog will kill it. Yes. Talk Z Kettle dug tunnels under City and now the whole city is in danger. Many Zar Her are trapped beneath this collapse thanks to Tog Kettle's tunnels. Oh, okay, Sir Theodore, that makes sense. A Toxy Kettle, huh? The big lava monster? A four-legged creature with big claws covered in stone plate armor. It walks when the lava sphere is in the sky, is not visible, and digs lots of tunnels. This isn't the guy that I fought down here. Like, when I did that battle in the, the fight cave or whatever it was, was I fighting one of these things, or that just... Not even close to related. You mean an armadillo in the volcano? There are many creatures in volcano. One is the Tox Kettle. Zar hunt them for food. Ha! Huh. I always thought Zar ate rocks. Why would we eat rocks? We eat flesh like you, Jalit. I see, well... Why don't you just clear the rubble, then? You look strong enough for the job. We are strong enough. And Zar Her Frock is very good miner. I am afraid it's not that simple. Jalit Zil, Dr. Incompetent. If we mine, we risk another collapse. Tots... Ket Dill... Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce this at all. Tunnel are very unstable and run right under Zar City. Oh, okay, Sir Theodore. Can't you just fill the tunnels with rocks or something? We need to stabilize the tunnels so they do not cave in and ruin our city. But we need to get to them first. The only entrance we have found is too small for Zar to get into, we dare not make it bigger or tunnels might collapse. Yeah, they look pretty impressive. Alright, I accept the quest. Maybe I'm small enough to fit through and I'm more than capable when it comes to constructing things. I don't like to toot my own horn, but I could make a horn and then toot it. So I should be able to repair the tunnels as well. Leave fate of city in hands of Jalit? We do not have much choice, Zar Ziltog. And we cannot leave Zar Her trapped. Fine. Oh. Now, I didn't push anything, and it just... It just, like... Oh, it's because I ran out of prayer points. I had that prayer on. I thought I turned it off. All right, never mind. Um, okay. So... I gotta talk to him again. It bounced me out of the dialogue.
Okay. I want to see what he said at the end. Hey, Supa, what's up, my friend? Thanks for subscribing. All right, I accept it. Fine, but make sure you kill Toke Z Kettle too, so it does not dig more tunnels. All right, I can do that. Thank you, Jelly Zill, Doctor Incompetent. Go speak to Czar Ket Grohl. Directly south of here, then a little bit to the west. It guards the entrance to the tunnel. Come back to us when you've repaired the tunnels and killed Toke's kettle. All right, let's do it. We're going to make this happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy... Oh, no, I don't think this is the right. I think I need to go the other way. This guy. What you want? I was told to talk to you. I'm here to stabilize the tunnels under the city and kill the beast that dug them. The czar over there told me to talk to you as you're the guard of the tunnel entrance. They asked Jalit to help? We cannot leave safety of Czar City in hands of Jalit. Oh, okay, Sir Theodore. Kettle sounds funny. But I'm the only one small enough to get through the crack. Yes, Jalit is tiny and soft. Can probably squeeze through crack easily, but what do you know about things like these? I'm very good at construction and could easily repair a few tunnels. Bah, her is nothing without its tools. Our Ket Grohl cannot possibly let Jalit enter unless Jalit's prepared. All right, what do I need? First of all, you need strong... Talk Zilim, talk Ket Hurt, and talk Jal Hurt. Could you say that in, you know, non Zar? If Jalit will work with Zar, Jalit will use Zar tools. I'm sure I could get what I need, but I don't understand what the words mean. We already speak Jalit language to keep you tourists happy. We will not change names for you, too. But then how will I be able to help you? Zar Ketgrol knew Jalit would be no help. I will write your list of items and how many you could need. I have not been into tunnels, so I, of course, do not know exact numbers. You might need less. Stupid Jalit knows nothing. By the way, um... I like your decorative codpiece, Ketgrol. It's quite something. Bizarre cat roll carves something into a flat rock and hands it to you. There you go. Before Jalit works with the Czar, I suggest you go northwest through city, past plaza to Czar Library, and learn how to read Czar. Okay. Alright, we got this, and I try to read this tablet, the tablet, and um, this is what Nick Man was talking about. They've got a uh, arithmetic system, and I need to learn how to understand these words. Don't you worry, we will. Did he say Northwest to the library? Is this a library? Uh, he said through the plaza. Alright, what's he want me to do? He says, in the western part of the city. Alright, western. Let's go west. Nice fountain. Okay. Uh, there's a fairy ring. 
Uh, I was actually, we actually got that right before this. Maybe he means over here. A little bank action. All right. Is this a library? I don't know. Who are you? Oh, this guy's got a voice. This creature can't seem to speak. It sounded like he did speak. Maybe I misheard that. All right. This looks kind of like a library. Can I help you? Um, no, it's good. Hover my mouse on the hole. Okay. Oh, enter library. How about that? Okay. Fair enough. All right. Ooh, it's dark in here. All right, let's see. Uh, can I talk to you about this? Mage lore. How can I help you? Um, I need help with the language, dude. Got a list of various items I need to gather, but there's a bunch of weird characters and words I can't understand. Czar Ketgrol wasn't very helpful in translating, so he sent me here to study. Jalit has come to right place. I am Library Lord. That's a good title. So I'm here to help. Is the language Czar? Yes, it is. So, would you help me? I told you, I am Lord of Library. Of course I can help. The book you look for is in Jalit section. All right, and where is the Jalit section? At the far back, of course. You can see shelves right down the corridor, okay? You look down the corridor and spot a bookcase full of ashes. Uh, it looks to me that it gets, got burned up. This is the problem when you build the library by the lava. Yes, ashes is what Tsar called them, but this library is for tourists who visit Tsar City, so we call them books. But they're actual ashes, not books. Jalit could stop politeness. We could call them books. Okay, let's call them books, so how do you read them? I mean, they're Asher books. Jalit's weird. We do not yet know how to read your type of books. Czar use hard rock to carve text on. We're not used to your type of text. But that's not what we use. We use paper, books, and we write on it. Jalit must be confused. We asked for books, and this is what we got. I think I understand now. The books must have been burnt when they were brought into the volcano. Ashes do not burn, crazy Jalit. No, I... Never mind. Anyway, maybe you know what these words mean. Tsar Majlor is Lord of Library, not Teacher. Read your Jalit book and you'll find out. Fine. Well, can you at least tell me where you got the book from? Whoever wrote them must know. Yes, we got them from the Lord of the Library in your city. Oh my gosh, the librarian in Varric. I knew it. This guy again. All right, thank you. Reldo again. I deal with Reldo so often. He's going to be so happy to see me. Reldy. Reldy, 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 Reldy. Do, 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 do. All right.
There he is. I need you, Reld. Reldinio. Here he is. Hello there, how can I help you? I need a book about the Tsar language. I've been in the library down in the Tsar city where I found ashes of a book. They burned the books I sent them? Oh, no, not at all. The heat from the volcano caused them to burn, and the Tsar simply think that the ashes are what we humans read. Oh, <laughs> that's quite comical. Anyway, one of the books apparently contained a dictionary of some sort. I have a couple of words and characters in Tsar that I need translating. The Tsar librarian couldn't help me, so I'd figure I'd go to the person who sent them the books, namely you. Ah, that must be the Tsar tourist guide. I didn't write it myself, but I do indeed have a copy of it. It should be in one of the bookcases here in the library. I'm afraid I don't know exactly which one it's in, though, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to find. This is Reldo's M.O. There was one quest where he had the book on him, but every other time he's like, it's just somewhere in the library. I don't actually sort these books or know where anything is, but I have a general sense of what's in these walls. Tristram, that's a great idea, my friend. Yes, I do plan on that. Kenshi needs to return. You're sure right about that. All right, what am I doing here? I'm looking the bookcases. Let's go. What you got? You searched the books. It's bust. No, I'm not talking. To, I'm not trying to talk to him. I just want to look at the bookcase. It's a bust. No. You got Czar stuff? Going for Czar. Here, oh, here's a, that looks like a good book. Can I read that one? Looks like it's right there. A large collection of books. That's a no. Couldn't you organize the books, like, alphabetically? No. By subject? No. I organize the books randomly, and then I mix them around every day. I thought so. It, I find an old diary. Um, the Journal of Sinketh Magis. Oh, this is like, this isn't the right thing. Dragon High, this is from a while ago, right? With the people who are like under the ground teleporting under the Sarah Doman statue or whatever. Oh, okay. Let's look at them again. Mm-hmm. Oh, Posty Pete. What you doing here? It's a library, you know. Oh, sorry, so what's new? Not much, just doing some research on dwarven culture. Did you know? that Keldegrim was originally constructed by a long-lost clan who embraced the power of magic and used it to aid with glorious buildings like the royal palace? Really? Yes, they even stayed down there for a thousand years or more in a time they call the Age of Kings. Wow. Shh. That's enough history for one day, I think. All right. Very good. Let's go back over here. Okay. Do do do. Do do. I found it. You open the book and see that there's a note stuck to the inside of the cover. Uh, read the note. Ah, here's the numbers. Fantastic. All right. We're going to have to flip out the notepad.
All right. <laughs> Base 12. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, so, let's just say... Plus is 1. Um, H is 2. And the rest of these are going to be hard to do, but I can say, you know, pound is 5. Okay, that's a good start. And then let's see what else we got. Read the book. Introduction. So you plan on taking a vacation to the wonderful Tsar City deep within the Karamja Volcano. I do. Then this book is perfect for you. You will learn some useful Tsar phrases, some do's and don'ts among the Tsar, how to best reach your destination, how to count in Tsar, and about popular tourist attractions. I could definitely do that. It won't paste into Notepad, but I could certainly do that. All right. So let's see. Uh, section one. Getting to the Tsar City. Finding your way to this over-tropical paradise is simple. The first thing you need to do is get to Karamja. Regular boat rides will take you directly from Port Sarim to the eastern peninsula of the island or from East Ardoin to Brimhaven. From there, head straight for the Karamja Volcano. Can't find your way? Follow a very simple landmark, a cloud of beautiful black smoke. You can't miss it. Once you've reached a crater, a large, towering, spiky gateway marks the entrance to the Tsar City. Enter, and you will have reached your destination. Hours of fun with tourist attractions, sightseeing, and socializing with the locals and other tourists awaits you. Thousands of people from all over Gilinor visit this glorious city every day, so you'll never be alone. You know, to be honest, I didn't see another person in the Tsar City, so maybe I'm just visiting at times when people aren't there. Disclaimer, the author of this tourist guide takes no responsibility for any, quote, mishaps on the way to the Tsar City, such as death by pirates or scorpions. Section 2. Tourist Attractions. Once inside the Tsar City, the attractions and sights to experience are nearly endless. Beautiful rivers flow straight through the city and make for perfect scenery if you want to go for a walk with a special someone. You can also get a first-hand look at Tsar craftsmen hard at work forging wonderful tools out of purest obsidian. Or why not admire the marvelous city guards? You might think, but what if I want to be more active? Worry not. The Tsar City also contains the two great attractions known as the Play Pit Asterix and the Play Cave Asterix. In the Play Pit, tourists from around Gilinor can compete against each other for fine prizes. The Play Cave is a fantastic attraction where you'll be able to get up close and personal with the wildlife of the volcano. That's where I went. The Play Cave. Yes. Without the big annoying fences you'll find in places like the Ardoin Zoo. The Tsar names of these attractions are slightly different, namely Fight Cave and Fight Pit. The principle, however, remains the same. Yeah, there's a little bit lost in translation there. Disclaimer. The author of this tourist guide takes no responsibility for any mishaps, such as death by lava, Tsar guards, other tourists, or highly aggressive play cave monsters. Section 3. Do's and Don'ts. If you ever enter the play cave, do not feed the animals or their taste for human flesh may grow even stronger. If you enter the play pit, try to stay away from the other tourists. They are there to kill you. If you take walks along the beautiful rivers, don't go for a swim. Lava is not good for your skin. If you go to watch the city guards, don't insult or tease them. Their clubs hit hard, and you won't stop hitting until you're dead. Section 4. Crab, good evening.
So principal is right, is a rule. Principal is the guy that works at the school. The czar are usually happy to speak your own language, but sometimes it can prove useful to know parts of their language. This section of the tourist guide is here for you to quickly grasp the foundation of their beautiful language. The words are typically short and always end with a consonant, even though it's not always fully pronounced. What words mean depend on context and don't always have a set translation. Okay. So here are some words for us. Very good. And they're alphabetized even better. These basic words can then be combined. Okay, so zil means dangerous hunter sharp. Into more complex words. Here follows a list of examples. Uh-huh. Obsidian. So this means that that thing that wants to fight me is obsidian. And let's see what else we got. Hey, David, what's up, my friend? Thanks for subscribing. And, okay, hammers. Oh, these are the tools at the end. So, very good. Uh, section 5, counting in Czar. That's pretty funny, Nick Man. The Czar count in a slightly different way from humans. The basis for their counting system comes from their anatomy. They have four arms with three fingers on each, and thus is this is reflected both by the base of 12 as well as how the numbers are written. The human counting system has a base of 10, which means that we count from 0 to 9 before adding on a second digit, making 10. The czar count from 1 to 12 before adding on the second digit. 0 is nothing to a czar and is thus not included. All... Czar numbers are a collection of lines. The numbers are based on their forearms and three fingers on each arm. And what is necessary in order to count to a certain number is what the lines represent. For every hand that the czar needs to use, one horizontal line is added. For every finger on the last hand that needs to be used, one vertical line is added. However, if all four hands are necessary, they make an X shape instead of four horizontal lines. For example, Number five would need two hands and two fingers on the last hand. So this number will be written with two horizontal and two vertical lines. Okay. So let's take a look at the stone tablet. And this thing. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and turn the notepad on. And it says, um, talk zil m. Uh, times one, and then it's talk ket hurt, uh, and it looks like that would be. Hmm, I'll have to look at that. It's like two horizontal or three horizontal, two vertical. So I'll say two vert, three h, and then um. Talk, jowl, hurt, one, and then three vert, one horizontal. Okay, so let's see what we got. If I go to the tourist guide again, and I read the book, let's see, we're going to go to useful phrases, and let's go to the tools here. All right, so talk zil im. Uh, let's see if I can find that. Oh, here we go. Talk jowl hurt is a plank. Okay. So that's plank. And um, talk ket hurt is the other one. So let's look. Here we go. This is pickaxe. And, um, talk cat hurt. I do do do. All 
Hey, Mr. Waffles, good evening, my friend. Have I ever checked out Eidolon? Uh, I haven't. Is it a free-to-play? Or I'll look at it. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Read the full... Um, oh, it's typically used in Tsar constructions are oak planks. Treated in a specific manner to make them resistant to fire. Okay. So they're oak planks... Fire resistant... Treated... Oak planks. Interesting. Uh, let me see here again. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. Talk kit is a block of stone, I guess. And then let's look back at hurt, what that means. Her means builder. Uh. All right, so it's kind of like I don't think I wrote it down wrong. Yeah, I guess it's a block of stone used in construction, but it doesn't I thought it had this word on it. Maybe not. Okay. Then, uh, let's close this. Read it again. Hey, Morbid Fell, good evening. Alright, let's read the note. Okay. So this one is two vertical and three horizontal. So, two vertical... And three horizontal is eight. And a one. So 18. Or is it 12 plus eight is 20? And then three vertical and one horizontal is 3. So then it's 15? Okay. So it's 12 plus 3 is 15, is that right? Okay, so 15 and 20? Unless I'm not doing my math right. I don't... Okay. So, then, all I need is, let me look at this again. Yeah, he says, talk chet hurt. So, it's a stone used in construction, a pickaxe of obsidian, and a fire-resistant treated oak plank. Okay. Well, uh... I'm wondering if I can use my own... Do I know how to treat stuff to make it fire resistant? Do I just put swamp tar on it? Hey, Fading, good evening. Or maybe I should just talk to them about it. I definitely have the planks here. Oh, I got to get my plank box. What does this thing hold? Does this have... Sometimes in Quest, it doesn't let you actually use the plank box. You think I can use this bad boy?
Okay. Okay. Well, I could carry... I can carry part of it, then. Now, stone blocks used for construction. I, I mean, I'm going to need, what, obsidian blocks from them? I don't have any of that. Unless they want ore. I could wear my obsidian cape. I don't think that would be very stylish, though. They might get upset. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Then it's time. I mean, they have a bank there, so regardless, we'll be all right. Take me to... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the volcano. Okay, cool. Um, so, he says... I can go talk to him. Okay, thanks. I'm walking in the lava. Do, do, do. All right. Oh, I think I didn't go far enough. Yeah, I need to go uh, over here. Yeah, you're right. I'm just like them. I think we can agree, Sir Theodore. Going the wrong way. Okay. Alright, so I need to go... If this is north, then I need to go southeast. What you want? I know what to bring now. I read this book that told me a bit about the language, so I know what to bring. Good, tell me. Um, a pickaxe. Yes, go on. Um, oak planks. I need to have a czar treat them to make them resistant to fire. Yes, very good. Czar Herfrock can treat planks. And last item you need? Um, blocks of stone, I guess. Or I could say medium sized blocks of granite, but I think I'm just going to go blocks of stone. The kind you use that come from your mind, so that's where I should get them as well. Correct. <laughs> that would have been funny, Nick Man. Maybe it has to be here for a long time for that to happen. Because if the book's just going to combust in my inventory, then my cape. And my clothing probably would, too, I suppose. 
Maybe it's got to get like real dry, hang around for a long time, and then it goes up in smoke. Jalit Zil, Doctor Incompetent, surprises Zar Ket Grohl. I did not think you would learn Zar, and yes, now you need to go to Zar Mines to East. There you must have a Zar teach you how to safely mine magma. Tunnels will be very unstable, and we cannot let you in if you do not have experience. When you know this, you can get the rocks. I'll tell Zar Ket Rock that you are allowed to enter the mine. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Okay. But do I need to go to the mines first or get the planks first? Okay. Yeah. Northeast. Okay. Oh, okay. It's just this cave back here. All right. Uh. Tarquette Rock. Okay. Rock man. No, oh, that didn't work out. Oh, I gotta talk to him before I go in. Whoops. Whoops. No, no. Oh, dear God. Alright, try this again. Here, get the mouse. Yeah, talk to him. What you want? Um, oh, I thought he was going to help me. Can I go in here? Yeah, he gave you permission. Alright, then easy enough. So I don't need to talk to him. I just thought I did. So let's go in and try to just do things. Let's see what happens if I just mine lava. Let's see what this guy says. What brings you to mine? Uh, can you teach me magma mining? I need to learn the technique to safely mine through magma so that I can get into and repair the tunnels under the city. I was told to come here to seek training. Do Zar Ket Jock look like trainer? Uh, to be honest, I have no idea what a Zar trainer would look like. You seem to know how to mine, though. No? All Zar know how to mine. Would be stupid if not. Then why do you have to train actually never mind <laughs> that's a good point so can you help me or not no czar herbrecht is trainer i have stayed true to my case so i get to mine i see thanks buddy you're welcome did you want anything else um no nah, no nah, i'm good i don't i don't need your life story right now uh, let's go you need help can you teach me this magma mining? Zar Herbrecht is not teacher for Jalit. Zar Herbrecht is teacher for Zar. But you don't look very busy, and one of the Zar guards told me I should come here to learn. Zar Ket are not in charge of who to train to mine. Zar Herbrecht is, so Zar Herbrecht decides who gets to learn. Um, but it's very important. I need to learn so that I can enter the tunnels below the city and repair the damage caused by some big rodent. If I don't, the tunnels risk collapsing, destroying the city. That does sound important. Too important for a Jalit to do. The entrance into the tunnels is too narrow for a Zar to get through. That's why they asked me to do it. Jalit makes a good point. Zar Herbrecht may be able to help you. But of course you want something for your trouble. Now that you mention it, I could use your help. All right, what you need? Four buckets and a piece of clay? Five iron ore and a rare feather from a long-lost species of birds. 
Any dangerous beasts in trap-filled dungeons you need slaying? Jalit, still Dr. Incompetent is weird. No, Zar Herbrecht needs Jalit to help convince other four Zar miners in here that theater is good and I need them to star in my play. Oh my goodness. And how do you suggest we go about doing that? Convincing anyone that theater can be good is a challenge. Ouch. I don't think convincing a Zar will be any easier. Jalit thinks Zar Herbrecht's play is stupid? No, no, not like that. Good. First, Jalit and Zar Herbrecht need to come up with good play that suits other Zar miners. When they're happy with plot, we give them roles. It reminds me of... What was the other play that I had to put on in the basement of Ardoin in that with like the that royal guy's the duke's kid and his cousin or whatever it was where I had to set the stage it had to look real I guess it wasn't a play it was just supposed to look realistic Um, when they're happy with plot, we give them roles. Okay, so what's the plot of the story? It's a dramatic tale of a czar called, uh, Tokskek Mac, who has turned against czar society. Tokket Mac starts a wave of crime with murder of a Jalit. Then Tokskek Mac starts to do more crime. Yes, the Carnelian quest. That's right. Um, kills more Jalit and attacks Zar in its own home. It's never caught. It tells how life without Zar rules becomes chaotic and is full of misery. That doesn't sound too bad, I suppose. I'll see what I can do. All right, so I need to convince people to be in the play. The other four miners that theater can be good. Okay. All right, buddy. You're in. You need help? I heard you agreed to help Zar Hurt Breck set up a play. <laughs> Pretty funny, Sir Theodore. I like theater too, Nick Man, and it's funny too because this is a British game and Britain prides itself on theater. Like, the times that I've been to Britain, there's just plays that are being performed outdoors, in parks, all over. They've got Shakespeare. I, I, I don't know, Christopher Marlowe. I, I can't believe it. Uh... How can I make the story better? I should probably try to find an overall storyline that more of them are at least comfortable with. Um, oh, okay. That would be interesting, Sir Theodore. You need help, Jalit Zil, Doctor Incompetent. Um, what about theater? Don't you like? Because it's a distraction. Each case has its own duties. Theater is not one of them. But as far as I understand, mining isn't part of your case role either. No, but Zar her mine and others are are not distracted by it, so it does not hurt if old Czar do it when they are too old to fulfill their case duties. Yeah, I guess you're right, Sir Theodore. So it's like, if they're old, and this is their retirement. Like, they're just like, well, I'll just go mine. It doesn't distract anyone. Look at this guy. This, these Czar, like, he's just got... A big cushion, at, like he's sitting on a round ball. Like the other ones have to stand up. This guy's like, I'm made to sit down. I'm a roly-poly. Perfect for this job. And 
anything else you wanted. Uh, let's tell you about the plot. The story Zar Hurt Brecht has written is about a Zar called Mac, who's gone against Zar society and begins with criminal. Its crime wave starts when the human visits the city and ends up killed, and then the events escalate from there. Mac starts stealing from other Zar, kills another human visitor, and even assaults Zar in their homes. This smart criminal always manages to evade the arm of the law and never gets caught. The play is meant to show how chaotic life would be if Zar didn't follow the rules. It's a pretty funny play. It's like, all right, we want to teach people that the second you stop following the rules, you're going to become a murderer and a thief. So what do you think? Awful. No Zar Chet would ever let any other Zar attack other races unprovoked and break our peace. Horrible. Such an unbalanced society cannot possibly be the result of Zar Mage organization. Pathetic. The Zar would never allow themselves to be pushed around like that. It disgusts me. That is in no way an accurate depiction of Zar society, as Zar her would have no place in it at all. I guess I need to talk about some changes with Brecht. I know. This is what happens when you stop following the rules. He's kind of like, you know, I mean, Bertolt Brecht? How's it going? Uh, we should change the plot. What do you suggest? Uh, no humans are involved. They'd find it more interesting if it was only about them and didn't involve any humans. Makes a good point. Only Czar are involved. All right. How's it going? Um, we should change the plot. What do you suggest? Um, no one gets killed. He merely robs. But that would be very little action. I guess Jalit has a point. Fine. He only gets... Okay. Let's see what they think now about the changes. What do you want? How can I make the story better? Oh, okay. What do you want? Let me tell you about the plot. Brecht and I made some changes, and the story is now about a czar called Mac, who's gone against the czar society and becomes a criminal. Its crime waves start when a human visits the city, and I, I told him not to include humans at all. Why is there a human? Mac robs him, continues to rob other humans... And even assaults Zar in their homes, but never gets caught. Alright, and they say, what do you think? It's terrible. They'd never let the Zar do anything to risk the peace. Even if it only steals, they wouldn't be trusted. Okay. Alright. So this guy's a coward because he doesn't kill people. Alright. Okay. Uh, we gotta change this plot. Alright, let's do it this way then. Um, you can only make one change at a time, I think is the issue. Uh, the humans... ...started it. Maybe unprovoked violence from Azar isn't the best way to start the story. What if the humans who get killed were killed in self-defense? Then... ...this first kill could spark a hunger which drives him to commit more crimes. Not a bad idea. All right. All right, so now the story is about Mac, who goes against our society and becomes a criminal. Okay. And it starts with a human visitor attacks and it kills the human in self-defense. This triggers a spark, and he, he likes to rush. It starts stealing from other Zar and kills another human in self-defense, and his alt Zar in its home yet never gets caught. Okay, what do you think? It's far from good, but it's better than before. At least it does not kill Jalit unprovoked. 
Um, this guy agrees. It's still horrible because they wouldn't be part of unorganized society, but at least our peace with other races isn't broken. I can understand why Mac would not tolerate Jalit. Um, Zilmore would do the same, but it's still not very good. It disgusts me. Um, okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. Most of you seem to be willing at least to work with this. I could probably make some small adjustments and even her clog will be satisfied. All right. What do you want? How can I make the story better? You could show how great the Zil are and the Zar are and that we're not weak versions of Zar Ket. Um, okay. The criminal is a Zil who becomes a military leader. What if the criminal is a Zil who does what it does to prove their superiority? As a result, the Zil could be recognized as the military leaders of the Tsar. That's a really good idea. Finally, a good reason for theater. The play just get worse and worse. That's horrible. Glad I could be of help, but the others seem to be happy about this. Anything else? Um, that's it. Okay. Uh-oh. Leaving Zil in charge is nothing but disaster. Ketjot refuses to discuss unless Hurt Breck changes this. Uh, I'll talk and see what I could do. Uh-oh. Made a bad change. I made this guy happy and now everyone's furious. What's going on? It's going well, but I made some unpopular changes. Okay, we'll go back to the last story they liked. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's talk to this guy again. Let's just go in order and try to do them. What do you want? Um, how can I make it better? Okay. The criminal is a cat. It would show that they don't have as much self-control as they think. No, it's a bad idea. The criminal is not, is smart not to get caught. Azar Ket is not. Okay. Um, uh, that was it. Uh, that... Uh, hmm. What can I do? It's Zar Ket's job to keep peace and should not be unaware of what happens. Um, Azar Ket is aware of what's going on. What if one of the characters is a cat who's aware, even who the criminal is, but decides not to stop it for some reason? Horrible. They'd never do that. We stop plans. All right. Uh, I'll see if I can come up with something else. Um, all right. Then what about uh, Azar Cat captures and punishes the criminal? That's great. He likes it. He's the only one who likes it. Yeah, it's dumb. You only say so because you not think of it. Um, alright, that's it. Oh, God. You need help? Uh, no thanks. Okay, he doesn't like it. He won't even... Alright. Okay. Um, I made some bad changes. All right, can I, maybe I could talk to him. How's it going? Or right, let's try somebody else instead. All right, let's see what you got. What do you want? Uh, how can I make it better? There's not even any her in the play. Make that happen. Um... One of the czar who gets assaulted is a her. It could have been because the criminal wanted to get its hands on a her's fine creations. Not happy about her to be portrayed as weak, but it's good that we get recognized for our work. Anything else? Uh, that was it. Okay. They actually liked that change. Nobody complained. Okay. Um...
How can I help? How can I make the story better? Um. No. Okay. What about you? Um. They don't like the military leader thing. Okay. Hmm. If one can be a her, then one should also be a mage. Okay. One is... A mage who is... Um, unaware of who the criminal is. But even though an organizer or leader, he's not sure who the criminal is. I've already told you, he'd never let the society go like that. Alright, uh, he didn't like that. Yeah, okay, try something else. You need help? I do. How can I make it better, dude? Um, he is aware of the situation. But he keeps it to himself. A test? Okay, he's fine with that. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Anything else? That's it. Alright. So now two of them are happy. Hey, Morgan. Good evening. Good to see you. Alright, let's roll this. Can I help? All right, what do you want, dude? Um, let's see. Uh, he punishes the criminal, and then Zilmore doesn't like it. They don't like it. Um. Uh oh. Made a bad choice. Alright, I botched it with that one. I got two, though. How's it going? Okay. Let's see here. So I'll tell this guy again what you want. How can I make it better? Um. Yes. Alright, then this guy. And I'll be like, hey, what's up? And then I'll say that I can make the story better. Um. He's aware but doesn't say anything. So now, we'll go back over here. Uh, let's talk to this guy and see if I can get something going. What do you want? What do I need to make it better? The criminal could be a Zill. That would be good. That's great. Okay, one more. Can I help? Okay, um, he is aware. The only thing I can do is this last one that he captures him and punishes him, but he doesn't. Everybody else is not going to like it. So I, I got to figure out what to do about that last one. All right, so we'll go here again. Maybe I'll talk to that guy. Uh-huh. That was it. It's hard that, like, they should... They should lock in, like, if you get it right... They shouldn't make you have to do it again.
All right. We got three, though. We can get three if we get this one. All right. What's he say now? Okay, don't talk to him again. He just calls you dumb. All right, what about you? Can you help me? Can I help? So both of these are no good. Alright, so everybody likes except that guy. And if I make any of his changes, they hate it. We're really getting somewhere. The czar who gets assaulted should be a her. The rich czar should be a mage. Um, and the criminal is a zil. I think we need just to make a few more changes before everyone's pleased. That's great news. What do you think we should do now? Um, we should decide an ending. What do you suggest? Alright. The criminal gets caught through joint efforts. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So then let's see if I can talk to the guy and tell him about it and see what he thinks now. Can I help you? How can I make the story better? Um, oh. Okay. Can I help you? I'll tell you about the plot. Alright. We made changes. It starts when a human visitor attacks and it kills a human in self-defense. This triggers a spark in Mac and it likes the rush. It steals from a mage, kills another human, and assaults a her. But eventually it is caught through the joint efforts of other czar in the city. What do you think? This guy's like, it's pretty good. It's horrible. We shouldn't work together, says mage. The story makes Zill look like it's not know what it's doing. Zill's purpose is to stealth and hunt, and we're good at it. Well, this guy thinks it's good. Only, um, okay, we should talk to somebody else again. I know. Okay, how's it going? Uh, we should change the ending. Um, the criminal's plans are foiled. I think it'd be a bad idea if we let one completely outsmart, but it doesn't have to get caught, but what if it's foiled? That's better than the first idea. All right, let's see what they say about this. Isn't it great, Morgan? They do have a different language. I've been learning it. But because of tourists, they do speak a surprising amount of English. Uh, let's tell you about the plot. This plans are constantly getting foiled. What do you think? He likes it. It's okay. Not entirely pleased with the Zill's plans. Makes it look stupid. This guy likes it. Okay, everyone except Zill more likes it. I can work with that. All right, so maybe I just say, let's do it. How's it going? Um. Oh, okay, I got to get one. Who didn't like it again? This one. What do you want? How can I make it better? Not everything Zill does fails. That's not good. Um, the plans aren't always foiled. That could be good. All right, this is great. Everyone seems to be happy with the story. I should talk to him. 
How's it going? Um, they're all happy with it. All the miners are happy, so we can move on and start handing out rolls. That's great. You can start giving out rolls. What are the rolls? The first character is Mac, the Zill criminal. The second character is Ketkul Shmuel, the rich Tsar mage. Okay. The third character is uh, Jal T. Jenny, the Jal Yeet who gets killed in silence. In self-defense, the fourth character is the Tsar Her who gets assaulted in its home. All right, I'll be back. All right. Um, well, I'll just give everybody their own role except for... What do you want? Um, you will play the role of uh, Mac. It is the Jaw Yeet. Isn't that the best way to pronounce it? Pronounce it? That's good. Anything else you want? Um, that was it. Alright. And I'll give the mage the mage. Mage man. You're mage. Need help? You will play the role of, uh... Yeah. Schmoll. Sure. Let the mage get robbed. How else would you try to ruin my day? Um, what do you think of your role? They're very poor. You must give Zar what they want without spoiling them or they'll succeed. I refuse to take part until you fixed your mistakes. Now what else do you want? Alright, let's modify your role. Mage cannot get robbed by criminal. Schmoll is supposed to be aware. How can I get robbed? Uh, well, what if it tricks Mac and it only manages to get away with a small sum of talk cool? Yes, that would work. Was there anything else? That was it. Okay. What do you want? You will play the role of, uh, the her. Of course, you cannot possibly let her be anything special. Hmm? What? Um, what do you think of your role? It does not matter. You've given out horrible roles, and I refuse to be a part unless you change them. Oh, okay. I even made the roll because you wanted it. Yes, but I'm not normal. I wouldn't get robbed and beaten. What if you don't get assaulted? Mac can break into your home, but doesn't have to assault you. Just look for some items. Okay, and the great her can be called Zar Her Clag? Uh, I guess so? Good, I'm happy with it. And her clag, who gets disturbed, anything else you wanted? That's it. All right. I need this, this grumpy guy to be Jenny. Uh, let's see. You will play the role of... Jalit. A puny Jalit? That's not good. What else do you want from me? Um, what do you think of the role? It doesn't matter. You've given out horrible roles. All right, let's see. What do you want? We can modify your role. I can't play a Jalit. Make Jalit Jenny a strong cat and I'll be happy. I can do that. Good. And I want to defeat Zill when it attacks me. Uh, no, we can't have that. But I can at least let you survive the attack. Fine. What else? All right, that's it. That was it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Nick, man. How's it give, giving out rolls? Um, yes, they've been given out. Good. Are they happy with them? Cat's happy. 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 Fine. Good work. Now we can start rehearsing. I... Don't have to be involved in that, do I? I have a feeling, uh, it won't run as smoothly as it should. No, Jalit's done what it's promised. Her Breck can train you now. Yes! We're getting trained. Alright, everyone. We're gonna learn some techniques. 
Thank you very much. Now I can finally mine these rocks and get into the tunnels to start repairing. Okay. Um. Oh, yes, I can. I know the techniques. Alright, I gotta gather blocks of stone, I guess. Let's see how this goes. Twenty blocks. Oh wow, the weight is increasing insanely. <laughs> That's fun, Sir Theodore. I bet their play is amazing. Alright, so I've got one, two, three. I've got ten. Eleven. I'm strong, for sure. Alright, well, while I'm recovering, let's just craft these. I'm making pillars. I'm just carrying around stone pillars. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm making a chess set. Like I've made a bunch of rooks. I haven't. I got twelve fifteen. The music in here is this, like, rising crescendo. It's ominous. Got it. Alright, that is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, plus 4 is 20. Great. Alright, we'll go repair the tunnels under the city. That's funny, Sir Theodore.
Well, but I can't carry the the plank stuff. I don't have room in my bag for any any treated planks. I, I would need um, 15 of those. I thought I would go to, like deliver the stone first or something. Hey, Atreyu. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Do you treat these planks for me? You don't have any planks. Oh, I'll come back later. Okay. Uh, remove planks. Oak planks. One. Hey, Tony, good evening. Good to see you. Uh, can you treat these planks for me? Yeah, hand them over. Here you go. Treat them up. They've been treated. All right. And then... Uh... Is that where I'm supposed to actually go? Or do I go in through here? No, here's the crack in the wall. Go through. Get me in here. Alright. Oh my. It's hot in here. Uh, push the rock. Yeah. Crushed it. So this is what the volcano looked like before they graphically updated the central region. Interesting. Jump into the cave-in, the game asks me. Oh, just jump over it. Okay. Um. This is the opposite of the longest dark that I was playing yesterday. This is like... The longest burning magma... Alright, uh, mine the tunnel, I guess? I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. It's unstable. Can I... I can't fix it. <laughs> That's funny, Sir Theodore. Uh... I can examine it. Can I use the pillar on the caved-in wall? You can't stand right in front of the wall or you won't be able to put up the pillar. Okay. I don't think that did it. Okay, so trying to repair it caused a some damage. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. I, look, I mean, it looks better.
That didn't work. Stabilized it. You know it. Oh, you mean if I walked, I wouldn't? Alright, we need two to treat that one fine. Got it. All right, let's go get some more planks. Oh, are they? Okay, thank you, Nick, man. I'm stabilizing a tunnel, putting on a theatrical production, learning a new language. There's a lot going on here. You treat the planks. Do it. Treat my planks. Yeah, this area looks very convincing. This is what the inside of a volcano looks like. I was wondering why they were there. All right, so then let's use a... I'm fixing this for you. You're going to love what I've done. No one's ever repaired a tunnel like I have. All right, sweet. This is looking good. <laughs> exactly, Tony. You're going to love my sweaty planks. Uh-oh, I can't reach it. I hope I can get past it. I guess I have to push it. Yeah, because I'm going to need to uh, use this over here. Kind of messed up a little bit. Now I'll know. Uh, that was a p one of those. Okay. Oh, I was looking when I logged in and I, I glanced at the patch notes. I don't really know enough about the game to understand... But anything good in those July 10th patch notes? Oh, okay, thanks. I will do that. All right. isn't too badly damaged, so planks could probably be used on that. Very bad needs a pillar. Bad. Very bad. Okay. No. Wrong thing. All right, I got to get more planks. No problem. Let's just see if I can put any more stones down. 
Oh gosh, there's a fire monster. Well, now it's getting spicy. Monster's gone. Oh, I kill fire monsters with fire spells all day. They say you can't fight fire with fire, but oh, you can. It's my prerogative. All right, that's very badly damaged. Uh, what about this one? Very bad. What about you? Bad. All right, well, I need to go get some planks then so I don't cut that off. Oak. Oh. Let's go. I mean, jumping on stones is one thing, but you got to tell me, even if you were incredibly agile, I would be nervous jumping on stones when... The floor is lava, if you know what I mean. The game show where you can watch adults fall horribly into red water. Let out on gurneys after failing to win a modest sum. Hit me with the planks. Oh, my character is obviously flame resistant. I'd be... Um... Killed very quickly by this ridiculous proximity to lava. I don't believe I could breathe in here. I would just pass out from the overwhelming heat. And, uh die from heat exhaustion. If I got too close to the lava, yeah, that would get me. Alright. Oh, the fumes. My god, man, the fumes. I need a canary in here. That's right. I mean, it is pretty sweet. Like, I just pull this pillar, which is solid stone and larger than me, out of my pocket. And I just put it down. The fact that, number one, I can get it out of my pocket, amazing. The fact that I can pick it up, amazing. All these Zara were like doubting me, like, oh, you're just a, you know, puny human. What I'm doing here is legendary. All right. Oh, uh, the unicorn pocket, I think he meant to say, Sir Theodore. Wow, 
All right. Are we good? Got it. We jackpotted through. Very bad, but if I block it off, I won't be able to go anywhere. So I gotta go in first. Very bad, alright. Very bad, goodness gracious. Very bad. Alright, well, I can't go any further on this lava, so I'll back myself out. Okay. Jump it. Alright, let's go repair this. Got it. I solved this. Alright, good. And then... Good. We're getting there, aren't we? I'll put this one here. No, no, no. Okay. There we go. All right. I missed something. That's a shame. All right, let's see here. Let me try to do everything else I can. Oh, boop, boop. The monster isn't harmed by my spells. That's bad. He's blasting me. Hmm. That's a problem. Alright. Gonna have to do something else here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any food on me either. I mean, I could shoot him with a bow, I guess, but... Maybe they have some kind of strategy. Use water spells? Okay. I don't have the right runes, though. Would air work? Uh, 
immune to magic. Oh, okay. So I gotta just switch to a melee or range. Welcome back, Morgan. What you want? Fine. I'm trying, but... I've got problems here. Well, maybe I just go to the bank and change my gear. Alright, I'm gonna head over to the, uh... Okay. Alright. So I still might need magic, but I'll go ahead and look at my gear. And let's see what I've got. The ranged gear that I have is where my lunar helm, not the right thing. Ham gear. Mm hmm hmm. Gold helmet. I've got a blue dragon hide quaff, but I think I actually have better somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I looked into something better. Hmm. All right, fine. So that would do pretty much that, that, and that. I would need to... I need the pants. There we go. Whoops, wrong tab. Well, that's actually okay. Alright, let's see. Well, I got my Silverhawk boots, which is probably better. Alright, let's think. I just put my cool pants in there. There they go. Get those in there. Okay. And then let's go for... Weapons. What's my best ranged weapon? Crystal bow? Rune crossbow? Uh, I don't know if I can or not. It says level 70. I don't think my skill is high enough. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, but I only have, uh... Here we go. Okay. Alright, I think I'm ready to get him. I'm gonna need bolts for the bow. You're right about that. I've got, uh, room bolts. Well, that's not really a product of organization. That's more a product of, I just never used ranged. So I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing with ranged. 58. All right. I only used ranged gear if the quest is like, you have to use ranged. Then I'm like, alright, fine. That's kind of where I'm at. Okay. If I just keep going east, I will get there. Let's see if I can shoot this guy now. I should have brought my food, by the way. Take that down. Yes. A crossbow. Uh-oh. It's a guy shifting over there. Oh, I needed to kill that guy before I could jump over? Okay, I see what you mean. I did miss a detail. And it's going to require me having to break all my rocks. So I'm going to have to go mine some more pillars unless they're letting me pick up the pillars. I don't think they are. I'm one short, basically. I wish I could mine them in here. Hey, Max, what's up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. Bam. It was a rude trick. But if I'm a Zill, I gotta be a professional hunter. Do do. Luckily, the mine is close by. We can do this. No, I can mine it right here. Convenience mining. Morbin, what's up? I see you there. Got a critical swing. Oh, nice. Morbin got me uh, some better ranged gear. This is Royal Dragon Hide. Thank you.
I'm all, I'm 58 Morbin, so I'll get there. Those sailfish are pretty good, though. Oh, it let me put it on. Is it defense? It's maybe it's not ranged. Okay, I have the defense level. Great. Yeah, thank you. Sweet. All right, let's check out how I look. Okay, I look good. I don't stand a chance now. How could they possibly beat me? We got this thing. Now, is the armadillo itself going to be immune to magic, or is that just a feature of, like, these dudes? I wish, Max. I have an obsidian cape, if that's the cape you mean. Oh, I have to... You're telling me I have to go get melee to fight this thing? Oh, that was the fight cave. Yeah, Max, I tried it. Oh, I tried it. Uh... I talked to him. You need help? Have you seen the big armadillo? The one that dug the tunnels? Yeah, it passed by here. It should be killed. Almost it destroyed the city. That's what I'm here for. So where'd it go? It has a home. Just north. It went in there. So it's basically trapped in the corner. Why haven't you killed it? Do I look like a zoo? I don't hunt. Okay, I'll take care of it. So now what should I do? I guess if I just try to fight it, I'm going to be in bad shape if it can only be harmed by melee weapons. Alright, we might lose. We'll try. Okay, so it's just blocking it, basically. Alright, that doesn't work. Alright, he's unaffected. Alright, we'll go take care of it. We gotta get some better stuff. I actually have some good melee. I've been upgrading it. That's right, bandos. Can you guys tell me, um, am I going to need all three sets of armor for this fight? Just in terms of practicality with like trying to fit everything in my inventory.
That's a good question, Morgan. Okay. I do to do. Bandos me. Bandos legs, gloves, helmet. All right, we're good. And then. Let's see with our weapon. Dragon scimitar. Eh. You think I could give the guy the Avandus flail? He wouldn't be able to predict it. <laughs> I think it has to. He has to take this damage. Its accuracy is bad? Oh, come on. What about the Saradoman God Sword? You think that would work? <laughs> I got a, a pretty good sword right here. I don't know if I'm level 75, though, in melee. <laughs> I got this thing. Rune Scimitar. How about that? I got my dragon scimitar. Yeah, I see what you mean. What do you think? Two-handed sword or two dual wield? I guess the big boy? Alright, fine. Alright, here we go. Bandos me. All right, I look ready. Let me just double check myself here. Bandos. Yeah. Check the attack level. Um, 62. Oh, just get rid of this blue dragon hide stuff. Yeah, good point. Yeah, I need I need much better. All right, here we go. That dragon hide? I got that. I've had that forever. Did I get that blue dragon hide stuff from the Heroes Guild or whatever? Like, the adventurers? You know what I mean? Like, the, the place that you have to be to complete Heroes Quest to go to, maybe, or whatever? I am here. Oh, I need to go to the north. Okay. I think I bought the full set in there upstairs from the shop. Uh, there was a place that you had to complete 
you know, to be a hero or an adventurer or whatever, and you met, like, all the people, the, the, the heroes and adventurers, and they had a real nice table with decorations, and I could buy some armor there, and I think I bought my blue dragon hide armor there. Yes, that's where I went. Alright, it's fighting me. Let's take a look at this thing. I'm trying to pierce the beast. The only way I'm hitting it was with my pickaxe. Ooh, I broke its shell. Take this. Weakness water spells. Oh, I forgot to bring those. Yeah, it's hideous. What do you think about fire spells? How do you feel about wild magic? You don't like it. Oh, he exploded. We got 1k of their money. Oh, we're rich now. Bury the bones. Bury those giant bones. Yeah, my melee abilities are not the best. We got it. Yeah, Tony, that armadillo was very, very thick. We got it. We are rich. I can't wait to make it rain here. You need help? I did it. Is this mean the cave's open? Can I come out this way now? I will tweak it at some point. Let me talk to them here. Oh, that's cool, Sir Theodore. What do you want? Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead, and I've repaired all the damage it caused. That's very good news. You've done the Tsar a great favor. Tsar Zil Tug is impressed. Tsar Mage Doctor Incompetent. I did not take you for a hunter. Oh, they changed my name. The other dude called me Zil. This guy's like, you're a mage. Very impressive, and you saved the Tsar her. Well done. Boom. All right. We get a bunch of experience. We can mine the slabs. We can go to the opera. Oh, it's an opera. It's not even a play. Hilarious. Yes. Oh, I forgot to put on my... All of my subjugation stuff. I've got, like, bandos gear on. It's, uh... We've got problems here. Well, the next quest would be... Uh, in Pyre Need. If I were doing Timeline Order. It's called Fight Kiln. And the Elder Kiln. Oh, okay. I, ha I have the uh, ability to do it. These enemies might be difficult, but... Alright, the Elder Kiln. Boom. Set as active. Sweet.
All right, I got a lot of stuff. I got to go to the bank here. Well, we'll do this one next week because I don't want to lose any momentum or understand what's happening at the beginning of the quest. So this is a good place to end. I have to go to sleep anyway. And so we'll start next week with the beginning of this quest, basically. Uh, Morbid Fell wants me to go to the Lumbee Lodestone. All right, let's see. Episcacat, Crab, Nickman, Morgan, Sir Theodore, Tony, Atreyu, Max, I am trying to follow Morbid Fell, but I he I don't see where he went. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Check if I have the le level for Brink of Extinction. Um, okay. Uh, no, not even close. I need to raise Smithing, Defense, and Mining. Yeah, there's a pound sign on the mill. Is that what you're saying? That the, the the water wheel is changed, or is it? Did they change some graphics? Is that just a mistake right now that they need to fix or something? Or oh, okay, that's hilarious. That's cool. Thanks for showing me that, Morbin. Yeah. It's, uh, they need to, they need to get the villagers out to fix that. Alright, everybody. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what quest we're going to do next time. Take care, everybody.